Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use Mailgun to send emails in 2024. So today, we're diving into the world of email communication and exploring how to use Mailgun to send emails effectively. Of course, Mailgun is a powerful email service provider that offers robust features for sending, receiving, and even tracking emails. So in this tutorial, we'll walk you through the steps or the process of sending emails using Mailgun. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll need to go and open a browser. Here for me, I'm using Brave for you. You can use whatever you want. Once you open your browser, go to this URL section. Basically, just type mailgun.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, if it happens by any chance that you have an account, click on the stop right corner login option and make sure to log in into your account. If you don't have an account yet, you can simply click on get started for free. But if you click on it, as you can see, you'll be taken here. If you want to start on the free plan, that's not where you should be taken because as you can see here, you will have to add your payment info. Of course, you can uncheck this option if you don't didn't want to add it. And so you can open the free accounts. But as an example, if you want to just first of all check the pricing plans, you can simply click in here on pricing. Once you click on it, you'll be taken here. So of course, depending on how many emails do you want to send, the price will change. So just keep that in mind. And that's for the free plan because free plan has like unlimited uh, limited things. So as an example here, you can click on try it for free and fill up your informations and create your account. For me, I already have an account. So I'll just go here and click on login, click like that, next and login, as simple as that. So if you just created your account, make sure to finish this getting started. So just click on more info as an example. For me, I'll not be able to click it because I've already like uh, done this. But click on uh, more info and it'll take you to an article where you'll be able to see all the steps that will make this, of course, getting started 100%. It's basically what you'll have to do is simply verify your email. As you can see for me, it's not verified yet because I don't want to enter my number because verifying your email, you'll have to enter a number and you'll not be able to send any emails if you don't did not verify your number. So keep that in mind. After that, you'll have to go and create your API key. As an example, you'll have to go here, go to API security, scroll down here to the API key. And simply, as you can see for me, I have an API key here. I'll just go and delete that because like fail to delete. It's fine, I'll delete this after because it's already shown. And of course, all you need to do for you is just click on add a new key, enter the description for that key as an example. So just test search example, click on create key. Once you do so, as you can see, you'll find this right here. Make sure to copy it because it will be displayed once. Click on done and it will be done. It will be created. For me, I don't want that at the moment. Uh, of course, after like having your API key ready, you'll find already 33% 30, 30, uh, that's what I've done. I just created an API key. Of course, now you'll have to go and verify your domain and add or verify then the sending domain. You can simply go to this left panel, click on sending, and here you'll find yourself in domain by default. So basically for you, you'll have to go to the top right corner, click on add a new domain. Of course, you'll find a domain by default, but I don't think someone would like to receive an email from this domain, like as you can see, sandbox 9 ce 4 numbers etc. dot mailgun dot org organization. So I don't think someone would like something like that. It's not professional. So for you, you would like to click at the top right corner here option, click on add a new domain, then enter your domain name, choose the domain region is it United States or Europe, then enter the AP uh, the IP assignments option. Do you want to be shared IP? And of course, you can even choose some advanced settings like the key IM, the key length, if you want to. Of course, once you fill up those informations, click on add and verify that domain. Once it's added, you'll find it right here. Now, in the mail gun as example dashboard, uh, you can navigate to settings right, uh, send in right here, and you'll be able to configure emails uh, settings and set up send send in some sending domains. Choose your method. Uh, do you want it to be API or SMTP? And configure any additional settings such as tracking and analytics. Of course, you'll be able to do all of that right here. 
other than that, make sure once your sending domain is verified, once you add it and verify it, on your uh, like sending settings and your sending settings are configured however you want, you are ready to start creating and send email. You can use the mailgun dashboard to compose your email, including the subject line, body content, and recipients. Then you'll be able to send your email using the chosen sending methods, API or SMTP. So of course, here in the dashboard, if you scroll down and find HTML uh, email templates, we'll be able to start from that. If you don't, if we don't want to like start from scratch from a blank screen, we can start from templates that is found in here, as an example, and we'll be able to use them. Other than that, of course, if you don't want to, as I said, you can start from scratch and do everything by your own. You can even test your inbox placements in less than uh, 80 seconds. Of course, you can click on get started here and check it out. And you'll be able to see the reporting analytics from here of your emails. And of course, as I said, we'll be able to track your email performance. Like after sending your emails, you can use the mail gun, as you can see reporting here, or even dashboard. Here, you'll be able to send uh, to see the sending overview. And you'll be able to track the performance, email performance, and monitor metrics such as delivery rates, uh, open rates, click through rates, and even bounce rate to evaluate the effectiveness of your email campaign. So, I guess, like, there you have it. You already or you successfully use now Mailgun to send emails, of course. And with Mailgun powerful features and intuitive interface, you can send emails reliably and track their performance with ease. You can explore further customization option and leverage the Mailgun capabilities to optimize your email communication in the dynamic landscape of 2024 and beyond. So if you have any question or there is a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section and I'll try to do it as soon as possible. If you like this video also, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. So goodbye.